أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله ثم الصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى أهلي وصحبي أجمعين وبرذاز السيستاز الفيف السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Ummah is blessed but only a few can reflect upon these bounties It is the case of one who holds a bar of gold thinking it is a bound stone have you read the story of that tree? According to several reports, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to stand next to a tree trunk in the masjid to deliver speeches or khutbah, until a day when the mimbar or pulpit was made for the Prophet and placed in the masjid. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came to deliver a speech and passed the tree trunk added towards the newly made pulpit. Upon this, the tree trunk started crying, weeping like an infant. The tree would miss hearing the remembrance of Allah and the Quran constantly read beside it by the Prophet, peace be upon him. Allahu Akbar. This reminds me of the statement of Allah in Surah Al Hashr, verse 21. Allah says, لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون If we had sent down this Quran upon a mountain you would have seen it humbled and coming apart from fear of Allah. And these examples represent to the people that perhaps they will give thought. If this could happen to a mountain despite its firmness, if a tree could weep despite its sturdiness, what has happened to your heart? What is ailing you? How did your heart lose the humbleness, the tranquility, and the softness that comes with reciting and listening to the recitation of the magnificent word of Allah? When was the last time you wet your eyes over the Quran out of the fear of Allah, or out of understanding of His majesty, or out of the joy over the true promises of Allah? Why is your heart not trembling over the word of He who fashioned thee out of nothingness, but you cry over movies? The verses of the Qur'an are called ayat, which literally means signs or wonders because each verse you read or listen to carries its own heart's crumbling meaning. The Qur'an is a miracle living with you. Little wonder the American pagans and hypocrites would hide to listen to its recitation. That is the same thing you read mindlessly. In fact, you only listen to the voice reciting it and not the meanings. Subhanallah. Your heart is sick and weak but harder than the strongest mountain for by Allah if you weep over the words of men but react not to the word of Allah with its depth you have no scientific virus but your heart is hailing O oh Allah our Lord let not our hearts deviate after you have guided us and grant us from yourself mercy indeed you are the bestower it is a few minutes away from iftar. Let's remember to supplicate. May Allah accept our hearts of worship. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa ala ahli wa sahbi. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.